Hi everybody, it's Mr. Al Kamusi, and today we're going to be looking at root words, unit 2. The first word on our root word list is the word graph. See if you can think of any words that contain the root word graph. Do that now. All of the following words contain the root word graph. Looking at this list of words, or any of the words that you have chosen that are not on this list, see if you can predict or decipher what is the most likely meaning of the root word graph. Graph is a root word that comes to us from Greek, and it means to write or draw. Graphite is a material used in pencils, replacing lead, which used to be used in pencils. We now have graphite. Graphite is a material for writing or drawing. A photograph is an image that comes to us through photons, which is what makes pictures. Something graphic is something that is drawn or written. And graffiti is also something that is drawn or written. Autobiography contains three different roots. Two of them come to us from our last unit. Auto meaning self, bio meaning life, and graph meaning to write or draw. An autobiography is to write about the life of oneself. Geography contains two roots as well. Geo means earth, and graph means to write or draw. Geography is basically the writing or drawing about the earth. The next root word on our list is hydro or hydra. See if you can think of any words in English that contain the root words hydro or hydra. Do that now. All of the following words contain the root word hydro or hydra. Looking at these words or any words that you have figured out that are not on this list, see if you can decode what the most likely meaning of the root word hydro or hydra is. Do that now. Hydro and hydra come to us from Greek, and they mean water. Hydration is the process or state of having water. To dehydrate means to lose water, as de means to take away or remove. Dehydration occurs when we have lost water and require more. The hydrosphere is the part of a system of water. The ocean is a hydrosphere. Hydraulics are used on vehicles and usually use water power to create a bounce on a car. And a hydrometer is a system or tool for measuring water, particularly water pressure. The next root word on our list is sense, or spelled scent sometimes. See if you can think of any words in English that contain the root word sense or scent. Do that now. All of the following words contain the root word sense or scent. Using the words on this list and any words you may have come up with, see if you can figure out the most likely meaning of the root word sense or scent. Sense or scent is a root word that comes to us from Latin, and it means having to do with feelings. To be sentimental is to be full of feelings. Someone who's sentimental is highly emotional. Also, to be sensitive is to have over amount of feelings or to be over related to feelings. Sensations occur when we are able to feel something or sense it through any of our five senses. To get consent, such as permission, is to get the feeling of someone and the agreement of them from what they're saying or how they feel about what you're going to do. And objects that are sentient are things that feel. For example, humans and animals are sentient. They can feel pain. They can feel grief and stress. Plants and other objects like tables and chairs are not sentient. They cannot feel pain or grief or other emotions. The next root word on our list is the root word vac. Think of any words in English 
that contain the root word vac. Do that now. All of the following words contain the root word vac. Looking at these words or any words that you have come up with that are not on this list, see if you can infer or decode the most likely meaning of the root word vac. Do that now. Vac is a root word that comes to us from Latin, and it means to empty. We go on vacation in order to empty ourselves, to empty our minds, to empty our lives, to empty our stress. That is the point of a vacation. When we evacuate people from a building, we are emptying the building. We are removing people from the building. A vaccine is a shot that you can take that basically releases an empty virus into your body. It is the shell of the virus, and therefore, because it is empty, your body is able to recognize the shape or nature of the shell and protect itself from it in the future. Vaccines work because we release empty viruses or empty diseases into our body so that the body is able to recognize those shells in the future. Vacate is a synonym for the word evacuate, which we just talked about, and to vacate is also to remove, uh, to empty out. A vacuum basically means an empty space. Now, we think of vacuum cleaners, but the origin of the word vacuum basically means an empty space. Uh, for example, a black hole in the solar system or all the way out in the galaxies of outer space is a vacuum. It's the same thing when you're in a completely empty space, you're in a vacuum. The next root word on our list is the root word port. Think of some words in English that contain the root word port. Do that now. All of the following English words contain the root word port. Looking at these words or any words that you have collected that are not on this list, see if you can predict, infer, or decode the meaning of the root word port. Do that now. Port is a root word that comes to us from Latin, and it means to carry. Something portable is something you can carry. A portable refrigerator is a refrigerator that you can carry around. Most refrigerators are not portable. To report is to carry back information. For example, if I send a messenger and they report back to me their information, they are coming back by carrying or returning by carrying information. Something is, that is important is something that you must carry with you or is, is very necessary to carry around. To import or export are terms used in economic descriptions, meaning to carry in or to carry out. And to deport is to remove someone by carrying them away. Unfortunately, people who are in the country illegally are deported, meaning they are removed by being carried out. The last root word on our list for this unit is the root word just or jure. Try to think of any words in English that contain the root words just or jure. Do that now. All of the following words in English contain the root word just or jure. Using the words on this list or any other words that you have collected that are not on the list. See if you can figure out the meaning of the root word just or jour. Just or jour is a root word that comes to us from Latin and it means law. Justice is a noun meaning basically the implementation of law. A jury is a group of people that decides the law. To justify something is to show that it is lawful. By justifying it, we're showing that it has to do with law or it goes by law. Jurisdiction is a word that contains two roots, jur and dict. Dict means to write. 
the jurisdiction is basically that which is lawfully written. If you are within someone's jurisdiction, it means you are within their written law. And jurisprudence also contains two root words. Prud is a root word that means knowledge or common sense. Jurisprudence is knowledge of law. This completes our list of root words for Unit 2. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video has been of use to you.